All right, hey YouTube. Um, yeah, this is <clears throat> this is Let's Talk. This is the this is the first Let's Talk where I'm not live in like a while. The rest like used to be on my nice camera, not live. But this is the first one that I'm doing during the uh, not being able to go live because I don't have a thousand subscribers, which I'm actually getting there. I'm quite confident. I have, um, I'm at like 289, 292, somewhere around there. And I keep getting more subscribers from Survival unexpectedly. It's like, I don't know, 90% of the time that I play, there's always somebody new who wants to play with me. A lot of Spanish people. You guys are cool. And then they end up subscribing. And each time I do make sure, hey, you know, this isn't the main thing I do. Check out my other stuff. <clears throat> but anyways, and I have an apple here. Mmm, very delicious. And it's relevant, as you probably saw the title. Oh, we got neighbors' doggos coming up. So, but first of all, man, I was about to reach up and switch my camera, but I can't because I'm not using YouTube's app. I should actually try that with YouTube's, um, can you see? Almost. There we go. Yeah, okay. Anyways. So, what am I thinking of? Oh, yeah. I was about to reach up and switch it around. So I could show you the dogs, but nope, that uh, doesn't work here. But I'm wondering, does it work with YouTube's pre-recorded? I'll have to check it out. Maybe YouTube has some nicer features. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. For, and I'm talking for pre-recording on YouTube. But anyways, so first of all, I need to say, um, actually a little bit of news. So my mission papers are kind of sort of submitted. It's basically now in the hands of my bishop. Maybe I'll talk about that later on. But I'm going on a mission sometime within the next six months. So, if I think somebody's cute, or if I like somebody, I'm not telling them. There's basically no point right now. You know, if they're around when I get back, great. Probably go on a date. But if they're taken, nah, who cares? It's, it's just going to be a lot easier to not go down that route. And there's really no point for both of us. I'm not just thinking of myself, I'm also thinking of them too. But, also, I'm not against going on a date, you know, and if they wanted to find out, sure, yeah, yeah, sorry, no, no, if they wanted to go on a date, yeah, sure, we could, and if they find out, you know, who they are, yeah, I don't really care, that's totally fine, you know, but, basically, you know, I'm not gonna really do anything about it, so, talking about, <sighs> topic of the day, it, it started yesterday when I had the thought, because I was going to eat an apple, and I'm like, I remember when I was, I don't know how old I was, seven, maybe younger, maybe older, and I, uh, somewhere around there, my mom had taught me that you sing the ABCs while you're twisting the stem off of your apple. A, B, C, D. Ah, I got D. Or like, ooh, what if you got C? Wouldn't that be cool? And, but it could have also been one of my friends. I'm, you know, I'm not exactly sure where I learned it, but it was a thing I learned and I wasn't told why. And for me, it was kind of sort of dumb. I didn't really see the point in it, but so I did it like twice, and one of those times was definitely all by myself. I just did it, don't even remember what letter I got, but I did it. It was a thing. I did it. Yay me. So recently, yesterday, when I was going to eat an apple, because I've actually been trying to eat healthier lately, and a lot of fresh things like apples and rainbow carrots have really appealed to my body. So, I'm like, you know, the dude, the person who invented singing the ABCs while twisting your apple car off, they must have been bored out of their minds. 
So, and this was probably like, hey, this is probably 2,500 years ago. Approximately, you know? And so then I thought, hey, YouTube. You know, approximately, I don't know when, but somewhere within the last 2,000 years, somebody invented, you know, the guy, the person who invented twisting your apple stem off while singing the ABCs? Well, they were bored out of their minds. And, er, no, 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 that's not what I was thinking. Uh, so no, no, here, here we go. <clears throat> I messed that up. Hey, YouTube. You know the person who invented twisting your apple core stem, twisting your apple stem off while uh, singing the ABCs? Well, they were probably bored out of their minds. And so, uh, unfortunately for them, it would probably be 2,000 years before the thing that could solve their boredom would come around. You know what that thing is? My YouTube channel. And that would be a great advertisement. And totally, and I'm like, so why? So I looked it up and I've only read one article to this point and I kind of want to go back and maybe see if I can find a few more sources. I was just doing it really quick as I was getting ready to go somewhere. So then I found one article where this person says that it was because the letter that it snapped off on was the person that you would marry. They were like your, your secret lover or whatever, that sort of a thing. And I'm like, oh, really? This is even more dumb and stupid than doing it just because. Wow. And then See if I can remember this order right. But so then I went in and I um <coughs> I was like, you know, it's dumb and stupid and nobody should base their relationship off of twisting an apple core off to the ABCs. It's kind of, I mean, it could be fun. Not really a harm in it if you don't take it too seriously, but it's I think it's kind of dumb. But but wouldn't it be cool if it landed on the letter of the person that you kind of sort of like right now? Which, to be fair, yeah, I like her, but she's not on my mind all the time. I'm busy thinking about other things simply because I'm not going to probably, probably not going to go on a date with her. I'm going on a mission. And I can just keep busy with my other projects. And it should make things relatively easy for both of us. If I'm wrong, then somebody please save me. But, you know, wouldn't it be cool? Yeah, actually, it kind of would be. I mean... Well, honestly, when you're in love, you're probably looking for reasons to actually love that person anyways. And just stacking up all these little random things to make it work, which isn't necessarily bad. But some situations, you can take that to the extreme and go too bad. But I'm like, well, okay, so let, let's do it. So, I twisted once. Didn't hear anything. I twisted again. Ah! It cracked a little bit. I twisted again. And it cracked some more. But it didn't go. And then I twisted one more time, and it snapped off. Ah, one letter too late. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is dumb. It's stupid. What else does the article say? The article also listed one more scenario here, where um, you do it if there's two people that you can't decide between and I'm like, that's even worse. You gotta actually look at some cold hard facts and stuff and make a decision based off of those facts. Just Apple Core alternating their names on a whim. I mean, maybe you could find some scenario out there somewhere where both of them are so equally close to each other that it's fine. But I think in most cases, then it's like, well, if they're so close, then do you really know them really well? Do you really know all of the little nuances? Or is it going to end up being that they have this one little habit that you haven't found out about, that they do, like, every single morning, that they just can't stop? That's not necessarily wrong, but it drives you insane. and So then you, it doesn't work out. I don't know. Let's just... That one seems a lot more dumb than the first one. A lot less innocent. Because if you're at the point of, I like two girls with one... <clears throat> yeah, no. Well, okay, maybe... Maybe if you think two girls are cute, 
but you're not picking one to be with you for the rest of your life. You're just picking which one you want to go on a date with first, you know. And then you'll go on the other one if the first one doesn't end up going all the way. I don't know, it just... There's a whole area of these things that I think are dumb, especially when you factor in predictability. Like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger. Oh, shut up. I, like, I don't know off the top of my head which one it ends on, but, like, if you know how that thing ends, then you can just say, if I started on this one, well, then it's going to be this one. So pick this one, you know? And so then it's not really picking a decision that way. It's just... <sighs> it just puts you back to square one of indecision because you know how it's going to end. So then you got to pick the one that you don't want it to end on. And ah, no. I don't like spinning wheels and dice. Like, I don't use those to make my decisions. Whew. You guys are all the way down in there. Sorry if you couldn't hear me. I am so sorry. I'll have to check the audio before I upload this. But if you, yeah, if you, you know, if you really want a purely random decision, dice, spinning wheel, random number generator on your phone, or even dice or spinning wheel on your phone, something along those lines. So, yeah, anyways, but... This thing can be actually kind of very, very tempting and luring and it's just the what if and the wouldn't it be cool and, you know, maybe and it's not real. Yeah, but it's fun and it's enticing and so I did it again today almost without thinking. And it's actually kind of happy to say that today it worked. I twist. First of all, I looked at the three apples that I had left, because I bought four apples when I was at the store last. Okay, so I looked at the three apples I had left, and I'm like, this one. This one had the shortest stem, the others were kind of that long, curvy stem, and I'm like, this one, this one's gonna be it. So, I twisted once, I heard a crack. I twisted again, I heard a crack. And also, it's like, what is a twist? So I made sure I did really long twists. And then I twist it a third time, more cracking, don't move. It hasn't snapped off yet, but just the tiniest little jiggle of my hand, and it snapped off on the letter I was hoping for. And that's like, oh wow, that's actually like so cool. I mean, again, it doesn't really matter, and yeah. But first of all, I'm not going to feel stupid for doing it. It's just kind of fun, you know, and... And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. Uh, I mean, I could totally go for a relationship right now, but I'm going on a mission that's gonna be more important and better for me. And I don't know, that's a whole deep rabbit hole that we could get into. And you know, and like, if they waited two years, yeah, sure, but that's, that's a big, huge, that's a huge dream. They're, they're not going to, they just, if they're still around when I'm back, the most likely scenario is that they just haven't found anybody yet. But yeah, seriously, I'm, I'm not expecting anybody to wait. Nobody does. Pretty much miracle of miracles. If you're special, someone did actually wait for you. And there's nothing wrong with waiting. It's just a lot of women are ready for the next step in eternal salvation, and that's getting married usually, and yeah, it's, it's just the next step, and they're ready to go on, and men are essentially options. There's not really a perfect person, although we say that a lot, there's, you know, options. And you, out of the options you're given, you pick the one that seems best, and if they don't work, well, go try again. There's another one out there waiting for you. But don't leave it up to an apple twist. That's... That's just kind of dumb, useless, waste of time. Well, no, maybe not a waste of time if you only do it here and there, or it only takes a few seconds, but don't... Don't make it 
your serious decision. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Also, check out my other stuff before you subscribe. I do a lot of variety on this channel. I want to make sure people like the variety that they're subscribing to. I don't want people's phones going off about something dumb that they don't like. But, I mean, if this is, you know, if you like this and a few other things but not everything, go ahead, subscribe, and click the bell icon. Because some of my videos get zero views. Because nobody's getting notified. And I'll see you guys in whatever's next.